what's going on everybody we're back episode 17 of the world's 18th best podcast before we get started we have a bunch of patreons we got a shout out uh shout out to my boy dirty dan a vibing cat articuno austin gibbs b rad the man benjamin richards by morazora booster booster verbot brian Hahn, caleb brooch dalton peterson uh, Evan Tim, Fat Lucky Potato, Flayed Father, Game Changer Kid, Hanchola 3000, Harry Hudson, I Am Squid, Jacob Waters, Jordan Boylan, Joseph Hamlin, Kai, Christoph the Mostly German Potato, Local Car Mechanic, Lovely Ghost, Luke Charles, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mixon, OG Chief, Plague Doctor, Rivel, The Jafire, Trent Weaver, Trust Upgrades, and Zach Anderson. Thank you guys so much for being Patreons, and I love you. Holy fuck. A lot of them. Fuck, those guys yeah. are awesome, man. We Shout love out to you. those boys. We love you. We want to have sex with you. Yeah, we do gay sex the Listen, best if, y'all were, if y'all didn't do that justin would would have to get a nine to five job and he would just I, kill himself like i would literally yeah, kill he would, myself he would just himself. before i ever had to do a nine to five again that was terrible yeah i just you did off. it for like a week and you're like i can't i, I did that shit up, for I like can't. a year i go back to your old marshals i would no, i would kill Michael's. i would literally get, rent a boat and just go and then off myself and then be like a ghost ship and then people would tell tales of me They'd like see a, ship, yeah, they'd see like a random if ship. You, you're if like, that's the nine to five. You cannot afford a ship. You can afford a fucking dinghy. You well, won't be a ghost. You can afford a dinghy. Well, when you have a gun, Carson, anything's negotiable. <laughs> Look, he do be spitting facts. I'd steal a I mean, ship and then I'd sail off and then I'd kill myself on it and then be haunted and then you know it'd sail the seas and people would tell tales. It'd be awesome. That's how I'm gonna go. Just out. Be, that'd be a pretty dang. <laughs> So again, welcome to episode seventeen. That's how things are starting so far. <laughs> we're killing ourselves. That's how we're starting this episode. Yeah, I mean, Let's go. Suicide. What, what's more badass than suicide? Nothing. Suicide is badass. Suicide is badass. So Carson, what have you been doing Bad. this past week, two, three months, whatever it is? Week two, three months. Wow. Two, that's three a big months. Span of time. I don't fucking know. So. No, I mean, over the last week, I, I messaged you guys about it. I kind of was just like, all right, I'm at my mental limit right now between I always feel stressed out, I'm always tired, I'm always all over the place, and I just always feel busy, and I was wasting so much time with social media more than anything. I just straight up fucking went dark. I uninstalled Twitter, Instagram, and read it off my phone. Um, I literally blocked the domains of all of them. The only type of social media I have now is Snapchat for like personal friends because that's how Penis I picks. talk with JD's mom. Yeah, but um, no, I, I live completely dark and I've literally just been working and having a little bit more me time. And dude, I feel so much fucking better. I feel so much fucking better. I, I realized that I was in this constant cycle of always seeing all this horrible shit on Twitter and there's always drama. Someone's always getting canceled. Someone's always bitching about this. Someone's always fucking dying in a city I never, like, I've never heard of. And, you know, the natural disasters in other places I've never fucking heard of. And, you know, it's dick as it sounds i just don't fucking care dude yeah oh yeah i don't, don't yeah, i don't care. care either i still have social media but when i say something as long as it doesn't directly affect me yeah but like <laughs> getting that negative news just bombarded onto you all the time and getting to the point where you're basically addicted checking it so often it's just like you know what fuck this i'm just gonna let you know the things around me naturally keep me happy and like you know i stopped reaching out to friends but i still had friends to talk to because they reached out to me and that's fucking awesome i literally just focused on me and man it's been an awesome fucking week that jd turned five yesterday i sent y'all some pictures of uh, went and took him to go see santa today bought him a little bow tie and everything so, oh. so yeah i think it's been I, a good week for me boys i literally unfollowed and muted so many people on twitter because i was just i don't want to hear about zombies i don't care so i unfollowed anybody that doesn't follow me that does zombies so i unfollowed a shit ton of people and then anybody that would just constantly tweet about zombies, I just you muted, you muted, 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 because mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to be a dick and I'll follow them, but I don't care. And, and if you tweet, and, and if you retweet a lot, uh, you're also getting muted too. So there's that. Except for Nerfex, I like it's, the stuff he retweets though. He's cool. Oh god, man, yeah. I mute people. All I muted people all the time on Twitter because it's like I don't care about what you say, but I still want to support you in a way of like being a follower like oh look you know we're mutual and all that but but stop I tweeting don't want to s it's like i don't care about what you're saying yeah i don't at all <laughs> it's like dude if you talk about zombies i don't want you in my timeline i i don't it's so fucking annoying no one cares at this point 
Dude, hey I, Justin, remember that tweet I made about Black Ops 4 being good? That's true. If you uh, show up to the streams, you would know the new meme. When anybody ever asks what's your favorite game, uh, just say immediately Black Ops 4, because it's funny. So that's the, the new thing. thing. The replies on that fucking tweet. <laughs> You gotta go it's with people it. Be, okay. It's people being really fucking serious, having a serious debate in the replies about it. And I'm just like, it's fucking sarcastic. Shut up. So now when everybody asks me like what my favorite okay. map is, I just say transit, what's your favorite game, Black Ops 4. I, I, I just stopped caring. Whatever, whatever you ask me, you're not going to get a serious answer now. I don't care anymore. Stop asking me. You're going to get <laughs> shit posting for, I don't care. Man, Yo, what is this up, rapey room you are in? I cannot get over it. <laughs> You have nothing on the wall. This is where they go to waterboard people for information. <laughs> Get, just, put something uh, on nice the wall. Intro. Chinese waterboarding. <laughs> I like how you. Were, I like how you. Were, your thought process with this. This room was like, ah, we don't need anything on the wall, but we do need a random couch in the middle. It's not a couch. That's it's the, two separate yeah, it's chairs. Two chairs. That's those are I, the nut yeah. chairs. Oh god. One for each nut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You got a morning nut and an afternoon nut. You dark it's a CIA black site. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Have you guys ever seen those uh, like interviews people do online of like some random dude that gets famous for doing something stupid? That's what Manlet is right now. Like you ever seen like yeah. those Jimmy Fallon videos? Where like, all right, we're gonna call this guy, and it's like some redneck out in the fucking boonies, and he did something stupid, and now he's not famous. This that's Manlet. You've never seen these videos? Uh, Very specific. Manlet, can we like? Can we send you things to hang on your wall? Uh, yeah, can we? I got I something if we back actually here hang it, if it... that you might like. It's hang on, shit. It's right there. You might like that. Uh, it's blue. And it fit <laughs> really nice on your sh on a shelf. Yeah, real talk. All right, I want I want to find a way to get a a drawing of all four of us just tastefully nude on like super masculine, you know, ripped bodies. And I want to get this as a as a canvas so Manlet can have it on his wall. Honestly, dude. Absolutely not. Let's do that. Now you're getting it. Somebody find me an artist. It's happening. Find me an artist that will do it, and I'll do it. God tier. If you are an artist watching this podcast, uh, uh, let us uh, know. To be fair, no penis. All right, Rob, uh, we'll, we'll tone it back a little bit. Oh, uh, Justin can get a penis version for himself. Hell yeah. All right, listen. I know that fucking Manlet's parents are not going to let him uh, get a penis. Ah, true. It's oh, art. It's tasteful art. nudes. Okay, you can it's have it's, you can have these Renaissance blood. pictures with titties hanging out, but we can't have a modern day my cock out. That's bull. That's racist. My cock. You know, my, yeah, you have these random kitties. Length as well. We have to send the oddest photos. <laughs> accurate length. Oh. We send this blurry ass image of our faces, but like high res 4K cockpit. <laughs> Different about the angles. Green screen, like here, yeah, I figured this might help. <laughs> that don't look good behind you, man. Funny. Just get a giant cockpit. It look good. I'm liking this. I'll send idea. you one of mine. It won't be very big, so it won't take up much room. <laughs> I mean, you can just honestly, we'll just send it to you. You can just print it out. And Tape it right up there. All right. Put talk, imagine the if, wall. Put it imagine if the dick pics that you sent actually showed up in the correct like relative size on someone else's phone. That's why send them. That'd be that's badass. Some technology, dude. I want an app that does that. I want an app where I, you know how like the iPhone you can like measure that. shit. I want to measure the fucking dick into when I send the picture and accurately. Carson, that's a question we don't want the answer screen. to, man. <laughs> You don't want that yeah, answer. Of course we don't want the answer to. <laughs> I know some things are better left unknown. All right, that's fair. You're turning in dangerous territory here, man. You're either going to be pleasant. It's a 50-50 chance you're either going to be really happy or you're going to want to fucking die. Listen, realism, all right? I'm a realist. <laughs> <laughs> He's a purist when it comes to his cock picks. Who is it? Exactly. Respect. Man, what was the last time you ever sent a cockpit? When I had my last yeah, girlfriend, so that was like, what, three years ago? I guess. Carson. I'm not answering that. Yeah. Do We've it, talked pussy. about so much <laughs> worse. Absolutely fucking not. Yeah, because it was yesterday or this morning. <laughs> it's not Absolutely like we're going to know who you're sending it to. It fucking was. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not answering this question. All right, so it happened recently for Carson within the last month. All right, Manlet. I don't know that I ever have. That's that's fair. Bullshit. That's respect. That's respect, my nah, honestly. Nah, that's Balance respect. laid mad puss and is hiding it from us. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me either. 
<laughs> He's secretly a gigolo or a juggalo, whatever the fuck they're called. <laughs> a, ju- a gigolo is a, a gigolo? A gigolo is a fan of insane clown posse. He might, be, he might be. Different. He might be both. You don't know. <laughs> don't question him. Imagine like just four insanely hot chicks in bikinis walk through that fucking door behind man. Let's sit on those chairs. <laughs> <laughs> if that happened, he could have every gun in that safe behind me. <laughs> He's about to start making some calls to make it happen. Yeah, you're gonna start making calls, boys. You know, get your sister involved. I was gonna Cousins, say, he's gonna text the sexy. His sister, get all of your friends now. <laughs> I need help. Oh, man. So wrong. Yes, you're on this podcast. Of course it's fucking wrong. Hey, what'd you expect? <laughs> so, I want to talk about something that I actually kind of happened just a little bit ago. Justin, I sent you a sponsor that I want to try to get you with. Yes. Uh, now, for context, so do you guys know I work for a Minecraft YouTuber, a young audience Minecraft YouTuber, who was contacted by this anime waifu 18 plus body pillow company for a sponsorship. Now, he turned it down for obvious fucking reasons, including his demographic is like 8 to 14. But the Yo, fact that they so did fucking this... Pussies? Yeah, they had sex toys on there too. That's cool. I want one. Yo, yo, okay, you better get me this fucking sponsor. Get me some free samples. I'm, I'm literally gonna draft the email later so you can send it for your business account. Because holy fuck, I, uh, sign I was like Jesus Christ. Th- these guys have some fucking gall reaching out to a like a children's YouTuber for this. Yeah, I'm, and so, uh, you know, they didn't no research that very reasons. well. They didn't research that very well. I don't think. Oh, not at all. But the fact remains is that they're looking for people to spawn. All right, I'm hooking Justin up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get him in contact with these people because that'd be fucking hilarious. I can, you can buy just the torso, with two holes for a hundred fifty dollars. Don't. Fucking awesome! I want Don't. one. <laughs> Don't. That's what I want. That's the free sample I want. <laughs> I'm gonna Justin, buy no, one. No, Justin, so here's what I'm thinking. This is a company who sells anime waifu pillows. You have. An anime waifu. Yeah, man, we better get this sponsor, man. Because, dude, if we can put Lady Rabbit on a fucking body pillow, all of y'all better fucking buy one. Oh, and I yeah. will make a video. And I will make a video of me doing X to it. I'm not gonna tell you what X is, but you can guess what X Please might be. Don't, don't defile her like no, that. No, I don't want. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want that. If you do it, I, I, want... I, I never said what it was. It could be anything. I still don't know. Don't. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I, I don't <laughs> care what it is. I feel like your penis this is going to be involved, and I don't like do. this. It could be. It might not be. This is not a coin the flip. I want to risk taking, man. I'm putting 500 on black here. I ain't taking this risk. <laughs> it, red ain't it. If we do get a body pillow, we got to send one to Manlet so we can put it in the background. Yes, yeah, in the background. Nude, preferably. <laughs> yeah, Manlet, please. Every episode. Will you, listen, you don't have to leave it in the room. You just have to bring it up during the podcast. Yeah. Would you do it? I'll put it on my bed. Because <laughs> my bed's always in the background anyway. So I won't, I won't put it, it. Listen, I won't put it in the pillowcase. I'm, like I won't put a pillow in it. I'll just take the pillowcase and I'll just staple it horizontally across the wall right here. It's so funny. <laughs> Hang it up right there. Nice. Oh, man. So, yeah. No. Uh, I saw that, but it made me wonder. Do you guys know... Uh, use yourselves or know of anyone who's actually bought like a waifu anime body pillow yes i don't think so like ironically yeah. or un- in real life um i do believe uh, unironically wow that is now do you think this guy is like was he just a super lonely dude is he a little mentally scuffed or was he just like fuck it is i he think ugly? it might have been all three of them i don't know i'm not gonna put an input on that because i'm not gay oh it was a, I... it was a husband do I can 100% look at all three of you and tell you if you're ugly or not. That's horseshit killer. You don't have to be gay to know if a dude's fucking ugly. Okay, no, nah, nah, he's kind of ugly. Okay, that answers my, that, now I know. I it's, just want to answer the question because he's watching. <laughs> well, you heard but, it. I mean, that's fine. But yeah, this that's dude fine. is pretty, yeah, he's not the greatest looking dude. So he doesn't have the, does he have trouble with ladies though? No, somehow. Wait, he doesn't know as much as I do. So I don't I fucking know. God. If this this the knowing that this guy has more than likely brought a chick home who saw his fucking anime waifu pillow 
and still fucking smashed is god tier. Honestly, with yep. enough confidence, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah, that. Oh, 100%. If I it's if I was single, I would have a body pillow. It'd be on my mascot, but I would still have one. I mean, yeah. I, so I actually have two body pillows, but they're not like anime ones. I have a like a Batman logo one, like it's just a bat symbol. They would say it's and Batman. Then I have a Dallas Cowboys one. No, <laughs> I have a Dallas Cowboy one where it's just like all blue and has like their logo in the middle of it. Because honestly, body pillows are so fucking comfortable, dude. So no, fucking are. nice. But. They really are. If you don't have a body pillow, get one. It doesn't have to be an anime one, but if we get the sponsorship, it does have to be an anime yes, one. My, uh, preferably. Yeah, preferably mine. 110%. Probably ours, my bad. <laughs> Fucked up oh, there. Man. If you pay enough, you can get... I'll, I'll, I'll snuggle with it one night. You can get pay extra to get that one. <laughs> it's limited edition offer. <laughs> I must put up my fucking drink. What are you drinking? Uh, Dark Pepper Zero. I've been wanting to try it for a long time, and I finally found one. It's just barbecue no. water. Yeah, no, I don't like Dr. Pepper either. And Texas is barbecue weather. Barbecue, you know, palace. True. We literally have water. an entire oh, barbecue chain. ice cream. We literally, well, we do have Dr. Pepper ice cream. Barbecue ice cream. Not I mean, barbecue water ice thing. cream. So Whataburger actually sells uh, Dr. Pepper flavored milkshakes. <laughs> I hate for that. That's disgusting. So Rhode yeah, Island, like, did... oh, good. Uh, Rhode Island has coffee milk and coffee ice cream. Well, coffee ice cream's fucking good. Yeah, coffee ice cream's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, so. like, uh, on point. I don't think coffee's too crazy as a crazy of a flavor. Dr Pepper. I mean, I understand why. It's like, what the fuck? Like, we have like Dr Pepper like ice cream syrup and shit in stores. Uh, yeah. But no, talking about like, you know, barbecue stuff in Texas, we have this, uh, it is a gas station slash barbecue restaurant chain. And yeah. <laughs> it's more barbecue restaurant, but it always has like gas station pumps outside. And oh, I get so. dude, it's so fucking good. Oh my God. It's so fucking good. How much is gas near you? I think we're at like 287 or something. It's not too bad. How much is up there, man? Let's not. One of my parents just paid four twenty today for premium. Four dollars and twenty cents. I have a completely different system. I yep. have a completely different system. My uh, metric went up, but the... it is more expensive here than it has been ever before. Which, what's it called? Uh, inflation in general since November of last year is up six point eight percent. Food is up 6.1%, eggs is up 8%, steak is up 24.6%, pork is up 16.8%, gas is up 58.1%, and new cars are up 31.4%. That's why the titty car hasn't happened yet. Since November of last year. That's insane. That's fucked. You know those Joe Biden stickers that said I did that? (laughs) I've seen so many of those. (laughs) They're showing up now. So goddamn funny. Oh, man. I did that. I, I don't care what your political belief is, but that is funny. Everything's just going to get more and more expensive, man. Like, what's the go-to after yep. this? Do we just get into crypto now and everyone's in crypto? Or, like, what the fuck? Don't tell me. Well, eventually it will start coming back down. I think the biggest thing at the moment is supply tra- uh, supply chain constraints, but the uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better, uh, yep. at least for the holiday season. So fuck. Shit's yeah. already expensive as shit. We don't need shit to be get more expensive. Bills no. suck. It's... People were paying it's $60. All right. You know, at least it's not tax season yet. Yeah, well, I've already paid next right. year's taxes, so I'm good. I'm proud of you. I have I'm terrified to file my taxes because now I'm, filing, I'm probably gonna get money uh, back. What is it, like a... I don't actually know. Because half the year I was on W two, half the year I was on W nine. Have so. fun with that. Yeah, fuck. Taxes are fucking sick. Fuck taxes. Yeah. Just don't pay the cunts. Everyone shut the fuck up, man. Let's talking. So, I actually just have to, or I started filing business taxes for the first time, and I got a notice in the mail. Uh, rather than doing it quarterly, Florida requires that every every month, if uh, even if you don't make any sales. So, I signed up end of October, 
uh, literally the last day of October, rolled over in November, I got hit with a $50 back tax charge because even though I had no sales, it's like the, not even a grace period. <laughs> get fucked. They, they want that money. Yeah, they'll do they anything to get that money, man. It's insane. Like, they'll take my, ch my taxes, hilarious. I send them a check, and they'll still take that shit out right away. But heaven forbid they have to give me money back. It's like, now it's a whole three whore deal. It's gonna take, oh, we're gonna take a month to get you that money that we owe you. We'll take yours the second we get it. Mm. Bullshit. In short, fuck taxes and the government. Yeah. <laughs> it, taxes wouldn't be so bad if it just wasn't so damn confusing and complex. I mean, you've got like uh, half a dozen different deduct uh, deductions. The uh, you know now you got to go and oh, is one expense a charitable uh, deductible and blah blah blah. It's just you know. It'd be nice if we just had a flat tax rate with standard deductions, but you know. You know what I think? Or anyone. Fuck okay. standard. All right, this is what we do. You lower taxes for everyone under ten million. Like really lower it, because under ten million you're still striving. But once you hit like over ten million, that's it. You won. You beat capitalism. Good job. Once you get over ten million, you start to get into some like you have more money than you know what to do with money. That's when we start increasing the taxes. So I feel like that should be everyone's goal. 10 million. So under 10 million, pay a little tax. But once you hit above 10 million, that's when you start to get fucked. And that is what I know and I believe. And there's no proof to back any of this up that it will work. But I feel like it would. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I don't think it will. Because why am I getting taxed out the ass when I barely, I don't even make six figures. Why am I getting taxed out the fucking yeah, dick? Yeah, it's horseshit. It's horseshit. So, yeah. There's actually a well-known issue with regards to wealthier income brackets getting uh, their taxes compared to lower income brackets. The IRS has basically been, how shall we say, um, handcuffed in what it can and cannot do. They've basically cut a significant portion of its funding in its investigative branch. So, you know, somebody who's got hundred hundred and fifty million dollars it takes a lot of man time uh, or a lot of man hours a lot of money to basically uh, successfully audit someone like that versus going in after somebody who's got maybe fifty thousand dollars they've got it it's a lot simpler to audit so as the, you're not really going to see that many people you know of significant wealth get you know fuck you bill gates for, Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Piece of shit. Man. I don't know. It's Taxes is one of those things where it's like, I'm not going to pretend that I'm smart enough to know everything about it or no. what system would work best and what system doesn't work best. Um, I will go ahead and say, though, is that it is confusing as fuck. Before anyone, you know, across the pond tries to say, oh, well, you know, it's easy for us. It's easy for you if you work a fucking nine to five over there. However, if you work anything else, no, it's fucking not easy over there. It's just a scuffed. Taxes are a really important. If you work a nine to five in any, system. even over here, it's easy as shit because they basically do it for yeah, you. It's literally if you just run your yeah, own TurboTax business. Tax that's what's buttons. fucked. Yep. And, but it's like, it's such a fucking hassle. It's it's one of those things where it's like I know it's necessary to a degree. It's not necessary to necessary to the point where I think every fucking person that ever holds a political office in Washington should never have to fucking work again day in their life. Fuck you. Oh shit. I fucking hate that same here. People say, oh fucking America's so corrupt, dude. Fucking this country's no different. It's bullshit. Term limits. Yes. yes not even just fucking term limits. It's fucking pay caps. Make sure there's a fuck. You know. Pay these people competitively, not out the ass. I saw a exactly. thing that said the pay fuck? these people depending on how much the average American uh, wage is. It's like these people. I mean, that because at the end of the work. day, the government technically works for you. Or well, it's meant to. It doesn't, but it's meant to. Well, that's the thing. They are working for us, and that's why they're getting paid by us. But. Uh, and the issue with paying them with the average American salary is that, to be honest, if you're into politics, chances are you're not an average American. No. You're fucking, you know, you're smarter. You played your cards better. You know, life isn't fair. If you fuck up, you're going to be working a shitty nine to five at a grocery store the rest of your life unless you actually fucking do something about it. Be a better person than everyone else. It's that simple. I just so. wish you could be part of the Illuminati and run the world. 
Do you guys think yeah. that? Do you guys think that? Do you think there's like Absolutely a secret not. group that runs the world? Like a group of like rich people? Group of people. Nah. I don't think it's a group of people. I do think that the rich people definitely do a lot of, you know, bad shady shit behind the scenes, but I don't think that they're all like working together. I think it's almost like, imagine instead of like one Illuminati, there's like hundreds and thousands of them and they're all aware of each other's existences, but they're not always aware of what they're doing. That's what and so I they're think. all just kind of doing their own thing. I think like each country has their own like Illuminati, like a bunch of like the most powerful rich people and they kind of control everything from the shadows. Well, the U.S. has, like, the Freemasons, and that's, like, you know, part of it. But I do think that the Illuminati is actually a thing. But that's Oh, no, like I definitely believe it is. So it's, like, you know, right there, you have two different, like, mega powerful groups. Not And then the Rockefellers, like, not to fucking mention, now you have Bezos and Elon Musk. Like, no fucking doubt these guys have a major hand in world politics. But it's going to be in ways we'll, ever, we'll probably never, ever fucking know about. And if we did ever know about it, we'd have fucking nine mil in the back of our head with yeah. If we, we did, you're know gonna that, commit suicide with two shotguns to the <laughs> back of the head. Gonna get fucking Epstein. I took a uh, cyanide pill after I accidentally knocked all my teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I'm of the opinion that yeah, there's a lot of shady shit that goes on. We know that for a fact, just through, you know, standard market manipulations in the stock market. Uh, they can, if you've got a billion dollars, you can affect tens of billions of dollars by artificially uh, beating down a stock and these auto trading algorithms will, you know, then kick in and then you can buy back in at a lower price. And it's uh, it's what they did with uh, GameStop and shorts, uh, short squeezes and short sellers. Um, however, I will say that I don't necessarily know that there's some big conglomerate with an organized plan because I think we overestimate, um, you know, the competency of some people. Uh, I mean, the, there was a pedophile old... island for the longest time where people just yeah, flew and fucked thing. kids. That's not even a meme. It's just like the worst it, it, no, part. Like, like if they can keep that He's a secret. <laughs> To where, like, you still have some people, like, you know, did they really fuck children? Like, I think they can definitely hide it. Like, they they fucked kids, Dude, man. Please. They had There's Bill Clinton and out Prince there Andrews that there. The dumbest shit in mass. Like, part of the reason I got off social media, Facebook included, was so I was tired of fucking getting on there and seeing essentially two like extremist sides all the time. It's like, hey, did you guys know Joe Biden actually eats babies? Here's video footage. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then other side, it's like, guys, did you here? know that? Did you guys actually know that Trump is literally launching nukes from North Korea? It's like, what the fuck are y'all on about? Are y'all are all retarded with two hard R's? I mean, like, one, fourth, really retarded. one fourth of America is retarded. I think it's I that high. Really <laughs> I think it's that high. I, know. I, I think fully it is. believe that at least a quarter of Americans have some type of mental disorder. A hundred percent. Yeah, well, yeah. One fourth of Americans so are like completely retarded, and if this was World War II Germany, they would have been killed. Eugenic style. Speaking like, of World War II. That's me. Eugenics. No, not that. Let's get past that. Let's talk about Call no. of Duty World at War. The, the, the oh, real World War II go. game. The real World War II game. I Last night, I sat down and played the campaign from start to finish. And holy shit, man. It's so fucking good. It's aged like fine wine. It's it's just amazing. You're telling me it's there so wasn't good. minorities and women running around in World War II? You're fucking lying. No. There was, no. they, well, fought, I mean, they were on the front there lines. There were minorities running around. It's just that they were usually in our crosshairs. <laughs> our crosshairs? Wait a oh, minute. Shit. Hang on. Yeah. He well, said it. Right. He said well, it. what you call minority. World minority, no. But like, if they were in the U.S., yes, they'd be a minority. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Dude, yeah. World War, World of War's but... multiplayer campaign, it's so much better than like any new COD we have nowadays. Yeah. It's infinitely yeah. times better. They just had that certain thing that made it better back there. I don't know what it was. It was just better. Uh, well, they I'm, weren't fucking, I'm... uh, they weren't raping the women that worked there. They were actually focusing on the game. They weren't sexually Fact. assaulting their Fact. employees. It's, imagine, they, uh, how much good, how many good games you can make when you're not sexually harassing your women and actually making a game. A lot more free sure. time. 
man. But right before the day I got off Twitter, part of the reason that I realized I was just so fucking done with it is I actually saw someone tweeting about you, Justin. Oh. Uh, not someone I follow. It was something that popped up because of something else I was looking into. I'm sexy. And they were talking so. about how. Yeah, it's because no, they're sexy. talking about how fucking stupid you were. That's uh, fair. Because you defend Activision yeah. and all these horrible things. I defend things Activision. All the time. I just said I wanted the job, what? man. Come on. <laughs> oh, and that's the thing. And like, I had this fucking whole tweet written out. I had fucking like the screenshots of me saying you had no idea, like. Yeah, you know, literally, like, job. I had to show you the article, because it, the article about all the stuff came out the same day you made the tweet, you just didn't see the fucking article. You think I would like read before I get informed yeah, on Justin things? Justin can't read! Justin can't read! So, but, like, they were, like, so pissed off, and I had this whole big thing, and I, I literally deleted the tweet, and I was like, it's not fucking worth you it. Know? And I sat there for a second, I was like, none of this is fucking worth Twitter's it. Just deleted it. Twitter's not real, you fucking losers! It's not a real place! <laughs> Turn off the That's computer! That's why I wish it wasn't. I wish it wasn't. <laughs> so, Look to, away! To play devil, so, to play devil's advocate, uh, the, I think the vast majority of people get way too into, into it. Uh, those petty squabbles. However, Twitter does have real-world effects. You know, if Elon tweets funding secured and his stock goes down 7%. That's fair they're... if you're on Elon's yeah. level. That is major leagues. We are playing yeah. T-ball. Oh, no, absolutely. We're not even playing T-ball, motherfucker. We have a single marble. We're playing a wiffle ball in the backyard, man. Yeah. We are but, sharing a fucking marble right now. <laughs> my, my my point being is is that there's there's a um, you know a, a contextual asterisk uh, next to it. You know, then you got like uh, back before Trump was banned, he was uh, tweeting, "We're gonna bring fire and fury at North Korea or whatever the <laughs> hell the good times, the man. Was. Good fucking good times." times. Yeah, li literally, he was governing from probably the presidential shitter. <laughs> All right, what this I want funny. to happen is I want Twitter to implement a system or you have to have at least 10 people say your tweet is okay before it goes live. However, I want all of those 10 people to be rabbits mods. <laughs> 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 well, considering half of us don't even do anything. Half of you guys well, are worthless, so let's be honest there. Does that mean I can make 10 alts? <laughs> Honestly, Look, fuck it, might as well, man. No, absolutely not. We have enough of him. <laughs> what if every time Manlet makes an ult, that chair in the background duplicates? <laughs> That'd be a lot more there then. Every time an ult is made, a tree is planted. Fucking, we'll be saving the world of that, Mr. Beast right. needed you a couple team months trees ago, by man. Ass. I'm fucking Team Manlet, let's go! <laughs> team so, Manlet. Speaking of Team Trees, like Team Cs, have y'all been keeping up with that, like, at all? Nah, not my... So, no. Team Trees fucking blasted their goal out of the water, right? But yeah, I did, I did they had hear funding that. from some millionaires. Team Seas, as it stands right now, has 18,144,625. Their goal is 30 million before the end of the year. I don't think they're going to make it. Yeah, no. They need to make $12 million. And last time they had people like Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, like all these big shots fucking, you know, toss of money and, you know, Friend, the PR $18 million dollars is a fuck load of money, really. Oh, yeah. 18 million is still a massive amount of fucking money. Like, major props to these guys. I just think that instead of aiming for 30 million, they should have aimed for 20 million again. Like because 20. now it's going to be really disappointing when they miss their goal by 30. Per uh, yeah, like 30%. Yeah. yeah. So. So if you guys haven't already checked out Team uh, Team C's, y'all should definitely go over there. And if that's like yeah. the thing, uh, you know, save the oceans and fuck the dolphins or whatever. Dude, dolphins are rapey. They're yeah, they're, they're dead. Very rapey. Dolphins are not are not cool animals. Really. That's why we fuck them. No. Teach them a lesson. Man, remember that dolphin that we saw on the beach? The beach. Yeah. We, could, we could have fucked that thing. What thing you would have no, fucked you want... first? No, <laughs> yeah, man, very funny. Kids were trying to fuck it. There's fucking kids on the beach. We should have fucked fucking the kids. Dad. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. No, we should not have done that. Justin. Uh, what? <laughs> I say Carson, what I help want me out here. when I want. Yeah, he I've does that. I've said way Listen, worse. That's not man, even close to the worst thing I've ever said. Man, it's not. All I can say is I may or may not know that Justin is in the market for a private island if you can help him out. Listen. 
the certain island that I used to visit is no longer occupied at the moment. <laughs> I crept down on us. <laughs> Me and my boy Mill Minton need another place to go. Mill <laughs> Minton. Well, Carson's dead. Thank God. About fucking time. Is that his green screen up in the background? Ground, right? I think so. Look at that ugly wall. Yeah, I'm gonna take that play You're button. You don't want to talk. I'm gonna take a shit You got on nothing it. in your fucking wall. <laughs> well, you do I, to be honest, but still. You leave my fucking play button alone. I'm gonna take a shit on that play button. I got a silver one on the way too. I'm gonna break that one. Yeah, we're gonna break that I'm one. I'm gonna come we'll on shoot that it. one. Please stop. <laughs> I'm gonna come right over. Do you I'm still gonna... need to ask Tim to get another one? I do. That way you can go ahead. I don't think he's asked that for his. He... His like I don't even think he's done that. He just doesn't care. He just doesn't care. Dude, you need to get it because you and Tim shooting his one nil play button would be so fucking iconic. That would be good content. He's gonna make a video of me fucking, stealing like, it. They're, they're fucking like heavy duty, dude. That's why you should buy an anti tank rifle and shoot it. <laughs> Manlet tried. He got outbid. I did. Uh, I really did. What did you bid on? What did you What did you bid on? PTRS. PTRS. Oh, I can't hear it. No. Can't hear it. Not it's yet. hard as fuck. Like, it is rock fucking hard, dude. It's actual metal. That's cool. So, Manlet, Gun Adventures. What's new? What are, what's new? What's the new? What are we doing? Updates. Give me some updates. Oh, boy. Uh, just In case you my... don't know, uh, he's my international arms dealer. Continue. Somehow. Yes. Somehow. Hmm. The government lets you do that. Uh, so, I just got two machine guns in. Um, I got a Mose and a Gaunt in. The, we're gonna cut the barrel down on that one. We're gonna make a Obras out of it. Oh, I hate those fucking things. So um, the... You know what's actually well, interesting about the Obras pistol is because it, during the Russian Civil War, they didn't have enough handguns to go around, but they had a lot of Mos and Gaunts to go around. So, so instead scuffed. of having pistols, they just used to put them in a trench coat. That's mm. so scuffed. Yeah. Interesting little fact there. <laughs> yeah. The uh, and then we have the 1919 coming in. That's so cool. Turn around, sell that after a month, and I'm currently in negotiations for an MG34, and trading my mortar for a MP40. Got lots of fun. This man toys. does it all. This man does it all. Now here's the thing: How are we gonna afford all this? Afford all this ammo? Patreon! Uh, yeah, Patreon, link Trouble in the description! Do you guys want a 1919 casing? Join the Patreon, $50 once a month, and you get a casing of your choice. Well, PPSH, well, I'll send you that one too, baby! What I will say is the 1919 is only one time only. We're only going to have it for a month. Yes. So... That kind of saddens me, because I love that fucking weapon. It's so cool. We so, also need to buy sandbags, exclusive. prop it up on, and maybe if we can get one of those like little handle, like not... Just like you can honestly go get Wait. like a gym handle. We could use that. I wonder if you guys could just save ammo by having mallet cast the bullets. We could. That'll work. We'll have you down there get give you an oven mitt. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the German in World War II, the German uh, they issued an oven oven mitt for um changing the quick change the, the, barrels. Yeah, on the MG forty two. Didn't, didn't pretty much like oh, every country, great. right? Yep. Yeah. But it was not the, uh, the fun thing is, is that it's made out of asbestos. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. It's made out of asbestos. Classic. Yeah. That is the most like 1940s thing I've ever fucking Yeah, heard. it really is. <laughs> you will be shooting all these asbestos. guns. When we get them, you're going to be shooting them first. You're my test dummy. Me? Yes. Yes, you. You think I'm going to shoot I this shit first? I'm going to make sure it I works. I literally. I was literally was shaking shooting the uh, the submachine gun or the M50 Madsen first because I was like, uh, is this, you know, so I put one round through because I didn't want to uh, accidentally have a, you know, out of battery detonation or a uh, head spacing issue. So, but after a couple of rounds, I got my confidence and it ran decently well. Nice. Yes, every gun you will be shooting first, and I will be standing far away. So if it explodes, a round goes, anything happens, you're hurt, I'm still good. 
And that's all I care Justin, about. Justin, I would gladly be that test subject for you, but there's a, there's a small problem. <laughs> You're a little here. farther away. <laughs> Maybe if Carson will uh, marry you, then uh, that would. No, that. you tax benefits, no. man. Uh, I mean, look, dirty. I can wait. That's only like what? How many more years? Like seven. <laughs> How young do you think I am? Fuck. I don't really know, Thank to you. be honest. <laughs> no, uh, I actually turned 25. Yeah, I turned 25 in a couple weeks. It's all downhill from here. It's been going downhill, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, STG, hang on, hang on, real up. quick. STG update? Oh, good. Because oh. uh, everybody keeps we... asking me. Yeah, it's... Uh... So right now we're waiting on the builder. They bought their own STG parts kit, and they're gonna knock them out at the same time. Now you know. So the um, yeah. and then we also have a uh, MP5 G3, a HK21 trigger pack. So any of those semi-automatic rifles, drop the trigger pack in. It becomes full auto legally. Um, take it out, it reverts back to semi auto. Could you do so it with that got... piece of shit? Uh, no. no. The but if you bought like a PTR or something like that for fifteen hundred bucks, legally you can keep it at your place because semi automatic firearm. Drop in the part, change out a few springs, run it full auto. Take it out, reverts back to semi auto. Take it back home. Okay. So. And then I, I have two suppressors coming in from Ser uh, from the Czech Republic, manufactured in Serbia for a well-known YouTuber. Yeah, right. See, I'm surrounded so, by. Cool. See, this is this is something uh, this is something I've wanted from day one. You don't you got to surround yourself with people that are fucking autistic in their own way. Autistic with guns. That is what his autism is, and he's able to get connections. <laughs> you got to surround yourself with good people. Oh, guns! Guns is only one part of it. Yeah, I, the other parts I, I don't I, care for, though. The are the guns is the only one I care for. <laughs> care about oh. tanks? <laughs> tanks. You don't mean you don't care about tanks? Tanks, oh, stocks, what? real estate, money. No, well, no, when you, when you grow up to my house with a tank, I'll, I'll I'll think a little differently. But until then, man's doors? got a point. Yeah, flamethrower. Just oh you might be a pussy. You, I know you hate flamethrowers, but I would definitely give one a shot. Yeah, I'll film so, you doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. I would definitely give one a shot. I think we fucking. I would not shoot sick. like a World War Two flamethrower. I'd shoot like one of the fucking. Yeah, like, I'm not shooting a fucking M1 or M2 like flamethrower. Boring company ones. I play with those. I 100% so, play with a boring company. So, um, what boring company is one is basically like a glorified blowtorch. Yeah, it really um, is. The, however, in all seriousness, there was just a uh, incident in uh, um, the western or no, the eastern side of Florida. Um, there was a guy that had a parking dispute, and uh, he t took out a XM forty two flamethrower, oh like one of those little. Yeah, he uh, pulled it out and uh, started, you know, intimidating the other guy. The and they, uh, they. I'm parking dispute. Yeah, so he got charged with uh, three felonies. Uh, I would have to look. Goodbye, flamethrower. Who the fuck just carries a well, flamethrower no. around? What happened to that flamethrower now? So the, uh, the no. flamethrower, flamethrower isn't actually. A firearm it can be shipped to your door as long as you're 18 or older without any background check any paperwork whatsoever um, that's awesome the uh, napalm is also legal um, yeah and even if you're a felon um, FPS Russia for instance can't have even a you single shot rifle. black powder rifles which is it's like yeah how about but... getting ammo for well, it, he he can't even have like a derringer, but he can have a flamethrower. Skull. Defending your house with a flamethrower. I'm gonna burn this house down with you in it. That's a good self-defense <laughs> weapon right there. I'm not Imagine locked in here with you. You're like locked in your here house. with me. <laughs> That's when Virgo's robbing your house. He goes to leave out the front door. It's fucking locked. He realizes oh. the deadbolt's on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here's that little hissing sound oh, of the flamethrower. Yeah. Oh, that's how you defend your home right there.
I was like, A with the fucking yeah. flame, though. That'd be so crazy. Man. That'd be cool, though. Carson, there was something you were going to ask earlier. What was yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, so it wasn't so much of something I was going to ask. It was more about something I actually saw on YouTube. Um, I talked about it before. If you guys know who uh, Donut Operator, he does a lot of like cop shooting, yeah, the breakdown, cop stuff like guy, that. Yeah, the cop guy, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's both ex military and ex uh, SWAT. So, dude's got, well, part time SWAT. He's also police, just regular uh, police force. But, guys, you know, got experience. He knows what he's talking about in these breakdowns. Uh, there was a shooting in Houston not too long ago. Uh, and they got this angle from like four different cops and they lit this fucking dude. Was this up. the dude in the wheelchair? But the... No, not the dude in the wheelchair. Oh. This is a different one. The dude in the wheelchair was fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah. For the... I'll get to the wheelchair forever. story in a second. That was fucked. Like there were... that was so wrong. This one, uh, guy was wanted, you know, a couple, I think multiple different, I think they were misdemeanors, but he drew, drew a gun, shot someone, police chasing shoes. Now, in case you don't know, Houston is not a super safe place all the time. Yeah. And because of that, their SWAT is decked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking rolled up in like two armored vehicles, fully auto weapons, fucking kicking open the doors, guns ablaze, mowed this guy down, right? Now, he deserves it. <laughs> the part that fucking got me with this is the, the regular Houston PD is there. Now, in case you don't know, police and SWAT, a lot of the time, are two separate entities. Yeah. The SWAT shows up, no fucking names, screaming, fucking taking this guy down, barking orders at everyone. And there's these two fat fuck cops not fucking listening to these guys. To the point where of the course. guy's on the ground, the SW this guy is, you know, they lit him the fuck up. He's bleeding out on the ground. He's still not dead. He's bleeding out. And they're just like, fucking leave him. He'll die in a second. That's what SWAT says. SWAT's like, there's nothing we can do for him. Let him go. The guy's still kind of wiggling and all that. And basically, the guy's body's just shut down. These fucking cops lit this guy up again while two SWAT members were standing behind him. Jesus. He's, gonna, he's going for it. He's reaching for his gun. Well, one of the SWAT members literally, like, you could see him, like, from his body cam, you see his hand jump back, and he looks down, and his knuckle got grazed by a stray bullet. Because they're standing down fire from these fucking guys. And I saw this, and the only thing that went through my fucking head is, holy shit, you give police such a bad fucking name doing stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, like, you really fucking do. So fucking You can't stupid. be a... F I hate when I see fat you police. Fat fuck up. You can't do that. Or, like, or a woman. Man, <laughs> okay, that one isn't no right, So, my aunt actually, uh, she was uh, one of the high level investigators for the Las Vegas Police Department, and she's actually finally retiring. But like, geez, investigator, that is that I'm fine with. She, she she started on the force. She worked her way up. Uh, unlikely like, scenario. I, I this is all propaganda by big happens. woman. Okay, big woman, <laughs> big woman. <laughs> single woman dictating it all, but no. Nah. Uh, then the wheelchair, I saw the wheelchair story you talked about. This one, the, it fucked. fucking hurt. That was fucked. Uh, long story short, uh, police are called to like a Lowe's hardware store or something like that. Um, they get there. They're like, hey, old man in a wheelchair is like stealing shit. And go oh, no, take, go take him out. Going. Well, That's like the said. store is just like, yeah, can y'all like s stop this? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we got it. Cop goes up, biggest fucking ego ever. They're like, hey, you need to stop. Old man pulls out a knife. Keep in mind, this is still a man in a wheelchair. It's an old fucking man in a wheelchair. You know, I, I'm not saying he's not dangerous. I'm just saying, now he's not dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that's all it is, man. Like, But no, this big fucking ego cop with a trigger finger pulls out a fucking shotgun and puts two shells into this old man. Jesus Christ. That's fucked. And it's, yeah, like, it. It's la it's okay to laugh at how fucking ridiculous absurd it is. Yeah. Like, usually... Not at the, like not at the situation, but at how absurd it is because it's like, holy shit, did that just actually happen? Like usually Fuck. I'm pretty pro cop if the bad guy like pulls out a knife or something, yeah. but like he's it's old, he's dude, old as fucking. He's in a wheelchair. Like you can and you just... shot him twice with a fucking <laughs> shotgun. Like, not even once, twice. It's just like, what the back. fuck? If, if I was ruining that scenario, I would try to shoot him in the arm with a handgun. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking Mario. stick and jam it in the fucking wheelchair pegs. He go nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You just like, take, pull out your peppers. He's an old fucking man in a wheelchair. Pull out your pepper spray and get him in the face. Like, if like, it's an oh old man, dude that's was... like standing up and coming at you, all right, I can kind of understand, but my man was in a wheelchair. Well, yeah, it's like, okay, Jesus Christ. But don't get me wrong, I'm very pro, uh, pro police, very pro oh, Second Amendment, that very was a pro bad law shooting. enforcement, everything. That oh, was man. fucking despicable to see. And it sucks Not seeing something like that because there's a lot of like badass cops out there too, like, so many badass cops. Um, I'm curious, have you guys like ever like in your like local areas ever seen or heard of a situation that just makes you kind of go? Yeah, oh, yeah, fuck. yeah. Um, I'll, you might not hear about it, but Australian place a really bad one to the indigenous population. It's just no. slept on around the world, but it's actually You're a thing lying. that happens here. Yeah, I am. I'm spewing shit. Australia is perfect. But no, yeah, perfect. But no, it okay. is really common here. Australian police are. Uh, Especially New South Wales police are very fucking mad, in my opinion. And I'm pretty pro cop myself, pro Second Amendment, stuff like that, like Carson said. But some police in this country are very fucking corrupt. I think. Hang on, are you. I, I, hang on, I think I just heard a knock at Deacon's door. <laughs> You're about to get a run. <laughs> run, killer, run! Yeah, I can add his voice. But have you ever had, like, a story, like, in your town or, like, your general, like, your close area that, like, you heard about it and, like, you recognize the street they're talking about or the story they're talking about and you're just like, what the fuck? I'm thinking. Nothing. Like, no, I mean, there's been, so. like, some shootings and robberies. Like, just the usual shit that yeah, happens same. occasionally. But there nothing was, big. There was a kid that went to my old high school about... Uh, I was, this was last year, so I had been out for probably three years um, since they graduated. But um, he was either in ninth or tenth grade and uh, drove through like four or five states going to see a underage girl. That's uh, yeah. golf. And she was like 13 or 14. Ew. Is this his name? Uh, is he black and is he really fat and does he want a cupcake? <laughs> um, and then the other he didn't talk to four states justin he walked and, he tried to walk his way there and then the other thing was my um what's it called uh there was a there was an arson around uh Holy around shit. town yeah, so someone burnt down a uh, an old industrial mill uh, to collect insurance money. Like okay, uh, that's bad. Seven, okay, I'm pro fucking over the insurance ago. company. <laughs> Fuck the insurance but, yeah, companies; no, they deserve it. Straight up burnt it down to collect the insurance money. Oh, that's so, fine. I odd. actually All right. have like two stories that, like, you know are places uh you know that i either go to a lot or have been to a lot stuff like that uh one of them was this gas station that kind of lived it was closer to where a lot of my friends lived but it was like decently close to me so i've stopped there a couple times um all of a sudden one day like i'm headed that way you know there's crossing tape blocking off the road and it's like a major road and so it's like holy fuck if they blocked it off something crazy happened uh come to find out that a guy was wanted in the next town over, got pulled over for speeding, shot the deputy that pulled him over, and then fucking booked it. Ended up at that gas station in a shootout and killed like two innocent people there before he got killed himself by a fucking semi truck driver who was parked there. Jesus. Oh, did he so, run him up or did he shoot him? The truck driver. From what I understand, he shot him, but it just said that a local semi truck driver uh, helped uh, disarm and de escalate the situation. You know, just shooting he him. Fucked him, oh, he got him. <laughs> Like, but all I know, this guy pinned him against the side of the building with a yeah, fucking we don't really know the story. face as he's, done, as he's bleeding out. I no, don't know. No, that'd be cool. Um, <laughs> the other it, one was actually, like, a couple days ago. Uh, and this one wasn't, like, a shooting or anything. It was just a situation where, you know, I knew everything, like, all the places they were talking about. So, as you guys know, I live on the border. But we get a lot of people that cross. Uh, a 65-year-old Venezuelan man crossed over. He was ill. He was taken to the hospital by a U.S. Customs Border Patrol and was released, was released to the hospital. They kept him. They cared for him, healed him back up, everything like that. They discharged him. He refused to leave. He's like, I'm not leaving. They're like, well, you can't fucking stay here. You got to leave. He begins to get physically violent with the nurses. 
cops show up, try to remove him from the building, gets physically violent with the cops. They slap him with, the, with an assault charge, they book him for a night, and then they release him. Guy walks from the police station to the bridge. Like, I'm not even kidding, it's like two blocks that way. Walks to the top of the bridge and just fucking swan dives off into the like Holy the shit. The neighborhood underneath it. Jesus. Fucking hell. And like I like there was fucking cops and all that shit like on my road, like fucking speeding that way because I lived between the station and the bridge. And I'm like, you know, at the time I'm just like, fuck, like that's a lot of cops. Holy shit. And then like I come to read the story and I'm just like, holy fuck. Like that is the what first the time fuck? I've ever heard something about that. What a fucking loser. And, you walk all the way to the US just to kill yourself? And oh, worse than that is that apparently he had family living in northern Texas. So it's like, what the fuck was going through this guy's mind? Like, either he was in pain and the hospital was discharging without actually fixing his pain and he was like, dying is better than this pain. Or he came all the way to Texas, wasn't able to get to his family and was like, fuck it. I'm, you know, whatever. Bye. Or he came all the way to Texas and the family didn't want him. And he was like, well, fuck. I don't know what to do now. Bye. <laughs> I'll like, be a lot of you can honestly. take your ass back home. But honestly, I don't know. It's still a sad situation regardless, but it was like, holy fuck. Like, I cross that bridge almost daily, and it's just like, now, you know, if I if I ever walk across it again, because I used to go running over it. If I ever go across again, dude, honestly, I'll probably look down and just go, You're going to get haunted by the old man now. Yeah, you're going to follow, follow you home. I'd love company. <laughs> 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 Carson, Friend. do you do you need to talk about something? <laughs> we only talked. Uh, well, I don't think we got that much time on the podcast, man. <laughs> it all started when I was born. <laughs> oh God! When I That's first noticed time. the troubles. But like, so stories like that, though, it's like it makes you kind of wonder about what kind of shit that happens, like literally on your street, your neighborhood, anything like that that you just don't fucking know about, though. That was yeah, right. Really does. Like, the weird thing know, about man. being down in Florida is like half the year, half of these fucking houses are empty, but you don't really know which ones. So like for half the year, your street could be like dead as fuck with only like half the people in it. And it just feels like a ghost town, but you just don't know which ones unless you drive by a house and it has its hurricane shutters up and you're like, they're not there. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's how you yeah, scout the houses, figure out which one's gonna have a new Xbox in it. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's how you know which one to target for your next break it. <laughs> yeah, they scope them out, man. Indeed you do. You gotta know what you're looking for. Exactly. Can I just say, oh. you play fuck Fire? those people that solicit at my house, despite me having a no fucking hate. soliciting sign. Do you have one yet or no? Yeah. And they still really? knock. They don't. They can't fucking read. Apparently, it's right next to my hey. door. Don't come to my fucking house. Oh, we got some shoulder panels. You're gonna really love. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. When was the last time you guys had Jehovah's come to your house? That that was the next thing I'm gonna say. I need to sign up, Justin, for the Jehovah's Witness. Uh... You sign me up for that. I'm coming to your house every night and taking a shit right on your doorstep. Every, every night, night. I'm, gonna, fault, I'm gonna go find some like x lax or something every night driving up there squeezing one out going back home every fucking i'm gonna put a little flag in it too that says fuck you fuck man look. you'd say hello to you every night you can say oh, hello to me yeah. you're gonna be cleaning up my shit you're gonna clean up the stinky poo <laughs> Justin, please take it a step further. There's two perfectly fine chairs right behind him that are waiting for shit. I'm gonna come in that chair. I'm gonna come on that chair. How much you're is it worth? Because it's gonna be worth gonna nothing once I'm done. And you're gonna piss and come on the chair. I will say, man, I still don't believe you when you say if I brought a black light into that room, I wouldn't find anything. I don't, yeah, I don't believe that either. Bless the God. That doesn't mean mm -hmm. anything to me. Bitch, I'm atheist. <laughs> well, I'm an atheist too. So. Exactly. That's why it doesn't matter anything. <laughs> Spirit of God, bitch, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the way I see it is that, hey, if he, you know, accepts everyone's loving care, then he's going to accept the fact that I did not care. And, like... You think God's going to judge me to some it. of the questionable shit I've beat off to? Or... Yes. Right. Yes, I'm going to hell, probably. We judge you for the questionable shit you've done. You don't even know half the shit I've done. It. You don't even know half the shit he... A quarter of the shit he's done. Exactly. Justin... 
Justin, I love you to death like a brother. Actually, <laughs> the feeling is you not are mutual. An <laughs> feeling does not go. It's not two way street. The you, your content is embarrassing to uh, <laughs> to bring to uh, heaven. Uh, to, no, to potential business uh, interactions. Like the guy when uh, I went to go take a look at that land, he was like, "Oh, give me your friend's YouTube channel. I'll take a look." He's like this 60, 70 year old. Re That's retiree. why you gotta no, because you're just dumb. You gotta use the right videos. Yeah, but what's not to say that they can't go and view your well, most that's recent their time. videos? That's, that's, that's their problem. Just, here's, here's, yeah, no, here's the my minority tier list or blah blah blah. He would like that. Got. He's seventy. Yeah, he would love He's that. He's probably 70. racist. <laughs> probably like the shit out of that Stop. video. He probably oh, loves yeah. the gender tier list as well. He's probably sexist. like I have a set group of videos that when anybody asks me what's my channel, I always pull up certain videos depending on who they are. I'm not gonna fucking pull up the gender tier list video when I'm talking to somebody with colored hair. I'm not that dumb. I still remember my my favorite time I ever showed someone your content for the first time. I loaded up your channel and you had a fucking apology video. I love that video. And I, I was like, video. so good. Now I'm not gonna say who it was for sake of privacy, I, but I told you who it was, Justin. And he's sitting on the fucking couch watching this video, going, "What?" the fuck <laughs> it's a good video I, he was like are you fucking kidding me also i'm probably it, gay no, like we, we ended up also i'm probably gay videos. the out of context videos are always the funniest but you know i would love to keep making time. them but like i just can't i have i what? went through with, with your help i went through a bunch of other videos and i'm gonna start editing what it tomorrow oh, you can't see it because it's all white but yeah it's all white i went and time stamped it I can't do streams because that's too long, but I went and watched, rewatched a bunch of videos and I should be able to edit that tomorrow. We uh, need to do a video on no. uh, Justin goes to a therapist. I don't oh, think that's let them record. I have a new series idea. It's called Women Are Dumb. And uh, that's not what I'm going to title it, but that's just what the series <laughs> is going to be called. And it's pretty much going to be me and my wife doing challenges. So like the title of the video will be like, women don't know how to cook. And it's me and my wife doing a cook off. But I'm obviously cheating. And like I get Chick Fil A and she like makes this food or whatever, and then it's like it'd be so funny if you call it women the dumb. <laughs> that's what the playlist is gonna be called, but uh, it's gonna be she stuff like bread. that. She makes bread from scratch and you're over here using a gas station loaf of bread. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go to Chick Fil A like drive thru and pretend I made it. <laughs> you see idea. her in the backyard of the fucking scythe harvesting wheat. <laughs> That'd be a good skit Absolutely. actually absolutely from scratch and then you fucking show up i could see it now you're at the house and you order fucking doordash yeah I, know. I was gonna get like oh, i can't almost spoil the whole video but like yeah, women can't shoot thing. guns it's like gonna be an accuracy test i have a fucking full auto and she has a bolt action <laughs> whoever can get the most shots accurate, off first yeah. wins well that could be that. Like, oh, right, no because it's gonna be whoever can hit the target the most wins and then i'm just gonna All right, spray funny gimmick for the videos funny gimmick for the videos Go on Amazon and order a quarter with a heads on both sides. <laughs> oh, and just yeah. Be like, and just be like, all right, so here's how this is going to work. Uh, and then, like, you just switch it up. It's like, all right, whoever gets heads gets the bolt, bolt action. Tails. <laughs> and then, boom, it lands on heads every single time. It's just like, all right, fine. Uh, you know what? Hold on. We're going to have a little luck. I'm going to go buy that. Exactly. And it's like just so many stupid, like, little things you could do with a tiny little gimmick like that, man. I'm gonna go buy a double-sided uh, coin. Speaking I, mean, of loaded, yeah, I like when I was kind of like staying away from everything. I decided, you know, just not to look at YouTube trending, and just only watch videos I was actually genuinely interested in. I just looked at YouTube trending, so ninety percent of this is YouTube Shorts, which is fucking awful. YouTube, stop pushing Shorts. Yeah, stop killing pushing your fucking Shorts. Platform. Fuck off. Fuck. Uh. A bunch of it's Spider-Man. There's a couple of different Mr. Beast videos up here. Uh, and then it's, you know, gaming videos. YouTube is fucking dead right now, dude. I love I how they took away the dislikes. The yeah, that was a fucking great feature to stop dislike bombing political things. Fucking the, awesome. Uh, the amount of um, Spider-Man shorts that they put up, it literally feels like I've seen a, a good chunk of the movie at this point. It's, you know, 
I, I don't really understand why they put out trailers that spoils key events. Motherfucker. I There's feel... so much of this movie is still left on the table. When is the so movie? Much. This comes out Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah it's Bro, Spider-Man. I can't yeah. fucking wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go see it Friday or Saturday, I think. I don't know which one. Might one see, I'm gonna probably try to see it Thursday night. If I can't see it this weekend or Thursday night, I'm gonna go watch it on Wednesday because our movie theater has three dollar tickets on Wednesdays. So fuck it. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, That's so three dollars for three dollars for a ticket and seven dollars for a large popcorn drink. Fuck yeah. Ten bucks Ten and you bucks. a large popcorn drink and a fucking movie. Oh. I was gonna take Mala to go see it, but he up. tried to make an argument, but he can't. The <laughs> Uh, um, uh, ooh, e, fucking naming all the vowels here. Sometimes why? Are you still in Florida, man? No, not right now. I'm in. Uh, I literally just got back today. Um, the what was I gonna say? That actually, the seeing Spider-Man the the night of just reminded me. Have you got? Did you guys ever go to the um the night release at like GameStop for all the time? Any? Oh yeah, yeah. All the time. yeah. No, I only did wasn't it a once. thing here. I only did it once. I did it for Black Ops 2. It was fun. I, I did it for so many games. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3. I did it for Infinite Warfare even, just because you know, I didn't even want the game that bad. I just wanted to show up and fucking hang out with everyone. It was a fucking fun. Yeah. Time. I did it. Me and my friend did it for three years. Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2. Good times. Yeah. Would have been. Yeah, it wasn't really a thing here. Sadly. I think for Black Ops 1, that was the most popular one. They they had food catered and everything. Then you could go in and then play the game, and then it slowly started to die off from there, and then people stopped caring. Missed those things went digital, because things went digital, really, is what happened in my opinion. That's what killed that. Yeah. Well, that and it's just a lot of gaming culture shifted away from, you know, a fun community thing to this very online professional thing not just esports but like online creators yeah. everyone wants to be a creator everyone wants to be an esports pro very few people were actually just playing the game to fucking play it yeah and I agree with not that. to mention a lot of the you know the demographic that was used to that type of stuff just grew up we got jobs we got you know yeah. responsibilities we can't stay out till midnight at a fucking game stop parking yourself. lot hanging out with <laughs> man man that I seriously fucking doubt you would go anywhere near a fucking crowd of people willingly these days. I'm sorry. That is a fact, though. Hey. Manly, are you going to go to Japan with us when we go? Absolutely. Are you going to pay for my first class ticket? What are ticket? you going to do? Probably not. I'll pay Wow. For... See how oh, it is. Oh. I want it. I want it. It's like $10,000. Uh, hold on. I'll Manly, take, I'll take a class under first. Japan, we go to Japan together. What are you doing? Staying inside his hotel. Yeah, probably. I swear to That's God, if you go to Japan just to brag about who you stayed in a fucking Motel 6 in Japan, because <laughs> that's where the fuck you're staying if you don't plan on leaving. I will be pissed with you. I would do it just to annoy you. <laughs> no, you would do it because oh you, that's just what you do. <laughs> I'm literally going to tell the airport that he has a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking... <laughs> He was talking about the POMB. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally... the, uh, uh, Listen, get, guys, listen. all I'm saying is this guy brought an alarming amount of fucking deodorant. <laughs> That's all I'm and saying. And fertilizer? You know is... <laughs> the, uh... He's got a breath and he says it's a wireless thermometer. I don't know about that. Check him the, out, please. The uh, Take Carson's phone and change the uh, ringtone to the bomb has been planted. Uh, the CSGO. <laughs> the, the bomb one. has been planted. We'll fucking FaceTime Dem Nuts that way he can yell to the fucking mic. My name's Deacon and I like Soggy Biscuit. Dude, that was so fucked. The one time I went to my local game store and I was talking to a bunch of people and he was like, My name is Deacon Smith, I love Soggy Biscuit. There were so many people who heard that. Because I couldn't take my oh. phone down all the way because it's spazzing the fuck out. <laughs> It's so fucking You know what, speaking dude. of my local game store, did you guys see they've released a trailer for Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2? You said to that I didn't watch it. I got my nipples hard, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I, so did you watch the Game Awards or did just the trailer? 
No, I literally just watched the trailer. I saw it on Twitter or the Warhammer okay. Twitter, and I was like, holy shit, this is a thing? And I watched it, and I was like, holy fuck, that's epic. They even yeah. showed a little bit of gameplay, but I didn't watch the, the Game Awards. The uh, the Australian um, the Australian game uh, rating system, they're going to ban it just like they did Daisy. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? That, that game got banned because of weed. Yep. What? That's, your country is so fucking stupid. You just made that decision then? No, oh, I've known. known that for a while. Okay, good. This needs to be said. Yeah, it got banned because there was marijuana in the code. Well, smokable pot in the code. That's so... Whatever. What? What? It's only a matter ever. of time till weed's legal everywhere. Why? Who the fuck cares? Nah, it's one time. Literally, it's ages the only reason weed is no. illegal right now is because of fucking boomers. Yeah. yeah. Saying it. I mean, dude, even in Florida, I like, I've... I think it was like 60 to 70% of people are wanting it legalized. That's in Florida. In, a, in, the, in a conservative state. Yeah, that's... I actually don't know a single person under the age of 30 who thinks it should stay illegal. Stupid. Like, just being completely honest, I don't know a single person under the age of 30. Who I think it should be regulated, in my opinion, but not it's illegal. Regulated, sure. But it's just the fact that, alcohol. Uh, yeah. Well, no, the fact of you being able to hold, like, you know, three grams with your girlfriend and they can pin you on fucking, you know, intent to distribute and you're suddenly a felon like FPS Russia, that's fucked. Yeah, that's fucking scuffed. Same thing happens here as well, happens more than you'd think. Which we now have felonies in Australia. It's, uh... It's, uh, no. It's whatever. It's whatever. Pretty dumb. It's pretty scuffed, Everyone yeah. voted for Bojai and to legalize weed and look where we are now. Let's leave us all drugs. Fuck it. Why not? Working. Let's go. Cocaine, opium, the cool shit. Oh, no. Math. I, I'm curious. If so, let's say, all right, hypothetically. That's what I have to say. Hypothetically. <laughs> Killer flies into the US. We all go to Oregon. We're basically drugs are decriminalized. Cocaine. That's what I'm if doing. If Killer does a fuck ton of illegal drugs <laughs> and goes back to Australia while still fucking high. Is that illegal? Yeah, is that, yeah, it will be. It will be. Why? Because you're entering a country where the substance is not legalized and you've been using it. You enter that country, they say, they take a look and you say, dude, you're off your fucking face. We have but to you're not you. in possession of it. Well, you're not in possession, but you've been using it. That's still a crime in Australia. So? Your country's so That's still dumb. a crime in Australia. Using using illegal drugs is a crime in Australia. You, not just possessing it, using, using it. drugs in Australia a crime in Australia, or is it using illegal drugs as a crime in Australia? Like, for instance, oh, if I, I get what you're saying right now, now. I am felon in Australia. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I didn't understand until now. Okay, that's a good question. Carson, 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 there's an easier way of going about this other than having Deacon going to Oregon. What you do is you go to a country that's got it decriminalized and you just go in the embassy do a line and then come out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I have to go off the fucking embassy desk. Fucking okay, walk to like, uh, what's that one country where like pretty much all the drugs are legal? What's that country? Netherlands. Yeah, just fucking walk into their embassy, just fucking have a lot, like a little cu cutting board that you use for cooking. Just put a little white powder. Smash some more. Fucking do a line right on their hey, man, steps. Check this out. Smash. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Um, so uh, there was a wiki. So the founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, is uh, um, the UK High Court just ruled that he can be extradited to the US. Well, the Assange, uh, the US has wanted him for a number of years. And back in like 2012, he took, or Ecuador gave him um, asylum in their embassy in the UK. Well, the they revoked his asylum in like 2019 2018 somewhere around there because he was just so much of a pain in the ass he was skateboarding <laughs> in the embassy he was let's in, go uh, what a piece uh, of yeah, shit why would you do that that'd be nice as shit nah no. fuck the fuck yeah, the feds fuck his his psychiatric or his uh his mental health just completely went down the shitter and he yeah, they, they, eventually they, the Ecuadorians welcomed in the uh, UK police to come in and arrest him. That's fine. <laughs> oh, killjoys. What killjoys? That's scuffed. That's pretty fucking That's funny. That's fucking hilarious.
yeah, skateboarding on some some expensive expensive wood or whatever the hell uh they got in there yep that's pretty funny that is pretty funny <laughs> all right i kind of got two more topics i i wanted to talk about here today no. uh you know it, okay. he's number one or number two number two because i don't number two i'm all right. number two i i'm setting a goal for myself uh with you know the guys i work with and anyone's allowed to you know pitch in on this by this time next year i want to have a game on steam Ooh. i don't care what it is I don't. It, it's not going to be anything complicated. It's not going to yeah. be you know, the hundred thousand dollar sell thing. I want to put a game on Steam that costs ninety nine cents and just fucking let it rip. Can I voice oh, act cool. in it? Because what's that? Can I voice act in it? Oh yeah, the fuck yeah, dude. I like. I literally don't care. So the idea that I've kind of tossed around the guys I work with is we'll take our mascot for our company, and it'll be like almost like Super Mario style, but almost. But not just like, oh, it's just regular side scroll would be parallax where like, you know, you have the foreground move at a different speed compared to the background and all that. Uh enemies from you know, there's from videos we've helped make for work, we'll turn them into fucking sprites. No idea what the fucking story would be, but just a simple fucking thing that is actually finishable within a year. I wanna fucking do it. I'm good That'd at cool, stories because of the amount of mangas I've read, I could help with that. Let's fucking go, dude. I, honestly, I just want I, to be the villain. That would be pretty cool. Well, for, for, I wasn't planning on having any humans in this game, I'll be honest well, with you. Well, whatever the villain has. A dragon, a fucking ghosty ghoul, a what fucking... If it, well, all right, you know, hold on. I'm going to just say it right Don't now. I will have a white rabbit that has a headband somewhere in this game. A Easter egg. Easter egg. What, what about a, um, a game where you're basically... Um, the running from the ATF. Whoop. Well, not play that, dude. I can so do that. Escape I the feds. Think Steam, I don't think Steam would let that fly though. <laughs> well, no, but I mean for us. Well, what what what's your target audience? First off, people with money. Myself. What? Oh. Did I not say game, Justin? <laughs> Myself. I literally know this. The point of a first game is not because you want to achieve anything other than the fact that you can say you fucking did it. Oh, no, 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 no. And, I, under, understood. Um, so I, like, I get... Go ahead. Go ahead. Motherfucker. Oh, all right. Motherfucker. Uh, the, uh, because uh, something that popped into my head is if you were targeting it to a younger audience, or even say it was like a second or third game down the line, and um, I wonder if somebody's created a game where... Uh, just a simple, like you said, a little two D scroller, but the theme of the game is basically um, emotions. Where you know you can ha have these little sprites where you know you're conquering social anxiety or whatever, whatever the hell flavor of the month is. So it is really fucking funny that you asked that. Not that bad. Uh, no, it's really funny that he asked that because I actually just helped make that game. <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding you. I just fucking helped do that. Um, I helped make the models and animations. Justin, you actually saw some of it because I was working on it when I was there in Florida. That little blue cube oh, guy. Oh, little, yeah, little little fuck boy. Yeah. So this was for this was for a college project that I was asked to help out with. It's yeah, I did, and it was for a game called QB. And in this game, it is about QB who is broken. You know, he's kind of lost. He's a shell of himself, really. It doesn't get that super deep, but the thing is, is that you have these different challenges and these different challenges are to overcome different aspects of oneself. And they include, you know, facing bullies in school to uh, having to deal with bad conversations with your family for the sake of learning how to show compassion to, you know, learning how to be a good friend of not being there for someone and having to say, like, I'm Man, sorry, I might need to play know, this, this game. Stuff. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like in one of them is even, <clears throat> excuse me, one of them of the games even is finding yourself like there's a different model that represents yourself in the game which is actually your dog because it's like oh your dog is an extension of you so you actually have to find your dog but it's in like this crowd of people and you have to like push past people and all that and find yourself in like this crowd of people like you have to enter the crowd and kind of overcome that and all that and it's very super simple it's very basic it's very rough because it's like it was a college project of all things but it was so much fucking fun to do it. That's actually why I 
dude i fell hard into game design like so fucking hard and that's a part of the big reason i'm right now i you know i make my living off making shit in minecraft and eventually i want to make my living off of making shit period i don't want to you know depend on some other game engine or anything like that i just want to do it to fucking do it so yeah yeah, um but that does kind of lead me into something else do you guys have any goals that you actually want to accomplish for next year I want to Something get obtainable. I want to get my open driver's license for one. Let's fucking go. Because I'm, I'm on my professionals right now, which is has a lot of restrictions on it. That's going to take yeah. time. And also, I want to be more self-sufficient. I don't want to be living off disability payments next year. Let's fucking go, dude. I don't want to do that anymore. It's not enough Fuck money. If I, to get a normal, that, if I have to get a normal job, so bad. Why don't you get a normal Let's job and live off of disability? You can't do that. Damn it. Never mind. If they, How about that, you that, that's that's and that's the only get for a C tier YouTuber. Get paid under the table. Legally. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> nah, in Australia, if if I'm making below fifteen grand a year, I don't have to pay anything on it. It's not a it's considered a hobby at that point. Disabled by day, stripper by night. Or you could mow lo- <laughs> mow lawns. Oh, uh, fuck that shit, dude. It's a good workout. You're getting paid to I'm work going, out. I want to work in a pub. That'd be so cool. Fucking. I think pubs. it'd be fucking awesome. Don't get wasted oh, on your man. own supply. No, if you do that, you get. Uh, uh, we were talking to a guy last time we went to the pub. He was like, yeah, I work in a pub, but I got drunk when I was working there and they fired me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty base. Pretty base. Uh, yeah, so, man, that's like... what I'll do next year. I'm going to be more self sufficient and get my open driver's license. Man, I'm putting you on the spot as well then. What is your goal? Uh, oh you gotta, we're getting real. You gotta oh have boy. one. What are your uh, deepest, darkest fears? Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I promise I won't judge you no matter how stupid it is. I, I won't no. judge either. I'll be a good neutral. Uh, I don't know. I can't just go year by year. Uh, you know, I. Uh, something. Uh, the. If you don't pick a goal, we're setting one for you. Oh boy. Yeah. And uh, it will be a fucked know. up goal. No, I don't know. I, I have two I real goals that I can think of for him right now. Getting pussy. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, then maybe saving up for Japan, I guess. Still a goal, right. bro. Your goal should be to get me fucking you, land. Man, like, I want goal. you to look for your own place. I want you to learn how to live by yourself, even if it's, you know, just for six months or something, or like a six month lease. I want you to experience that because it is something I strongly believe you need to do, like to grow as a person. Two, I want you to lose 50 pounds. I want you to lose 50 pounds because you're going to feel so much fucking. Yeah, I, I want to get, I want to get into shape. Not like total shape, but I want to lose weight next year. Yeah, definitely. No, you, you know, you don't have to take those goals. You can be like, nah, just not for me or whatever. I'm just saying, even the goals like that, which, you know, those are obtainable goals. Those are things that you I can, can do over the course the of a year. Yeah, I mean, you just go walk on a treadmill while I lift, and we get go take a nice shower together in the, the locker room. Oh, God. Well, That's good. Mean? Oh, God. I'm offering you. <laughs> I'm offering to get a shower no, he's you. Offering he, help you. He's offering to help so you, God you. damn it. <laughs> He no, literally he's... said, word for word, I will take the loofah and scrub you clean, and yes. you're like, no, pass. Like, what? I'm helping. Generous. Oh, God. Nah. So, I, I mean, if, saving up money is a good one, but... If, if you had set a goal five years from now, uh, the uh, I'd really like to consider running for Congress. Uh, uh, like, I, 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 wanna, I wanna support that dream, because, right. like, it's something you wanna do, but I just don't know... Can you run for, know... like, mayor of my city instead? That'd be cooler. Yeah, I think I will say this. more than that, than fucking... I, I don't that. think a single that's fucking person that. would vote for you the second they hear you have never lived outside of mommy's, mommy's house. Just throwing that out there. Yes. How that... are you supposed to support a city if you have never supported yourself directly? Yeah, also, run for mayor of my city. I'd prefer that. I'd have to be cooler to have... Like, if I get pulled over, I just whip out one of these, like, fuck you, you're fired. That'd be cool. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> There was a 21-year-old that won the mayorship in uh, Fall River, Massachusetts. Or it, he was er- early 20s. Um, the within like two years of being in, 
he uh, corruption scandals and all, all this other stuff started breaking and then finally uh, he had to I don't know if he was uh, forcibly taken out like uh, almost pseudo impeach or if he resigned now he's under indictment Jesus uh, yeah so it was a rapid rise rapid fall and you know now he's uh, he's gonna be spending a couple of years in uh, a gated community Fucking hell. Yeah, fucking go. Would you consider running <laughs> for uh, mayor go. or like town peoples of where I live? Yeah, I think you'd start small and go straight to Congress. I think you'd start small yeah. and then that. If, if your name showed up it, on a congressional ballot, no one's going to know who the fuck you are, where the fuck you've been, and they're going to look you up, and you're not going to have any fucking credentials. Trail I... Except for the fact that you've been on this podcast, and you no. are not going to fucking No, the second in. he runs for anything, I'm disassociating with him. I'm not stupid. You're not gonna. We're gonna scrub your name clean from everything. That's why you were referred to as Manlit. Yeah, we don't need you don't your real name. name. First name the, Man, last name Lit. <laughs> the uh, uh, what's it called? Um, unfortunately, no politics has kind of gotten into a uh, a situation where the lowest common denominator has won. I mean, there's a. Uh, Without getting into specifics, there's a couple of representatives out there that have just won by being the best showman out there. That's and, what I'm uh, there for. Oh, I can oh, make you a bomb and oh, fucking yeah. campaign ad. The, uh, l let's go along the lines of uh, there's a couple Congress critters that, how, how shall we say, subscribe to the theory that the other party is drinking the uh the blood of infants and whatever the hell <laughs> like what you asked said this. before and that's yeah. a fucking thing he's not kidding People i mean they are doing shit. it they are doing it <laughs> yeah and it's not... i agree yeah. carson <laughs> This isn't just regular people. There are people in I know. and they're they're getting uh, they're also you putting know, fluoride in I, the water. In the water. I think, and it's totally oh, thinking monster. about it this way, I think Congress is too low, man. I think you should just look to go ahead and be president of the UN. Yeah, the UN? Just do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, let's get out run up and say, Hey guys, I'm applying to be president of the UN and they're not gonna know what to say because they're fucking stupid and suddenly Manla is their supreme ruler. That's fair. Hey. Oh, man. You know, right. the, uh, if anything has shown, the last three years has kind of turned everything on its head. The uh, up is down, down is up, you know. Uh, what is good? All right, I'm, I'm going to cut you off right there because that, that conversation is not going to end well. Uh I know what he's trying to say, though. Yes. Yeah, I, I get what you're trying to say. I will say using left the analogy right, of is transgenders down. is not it. Blue is left, pink. You know, in is out, left is right, up is down. You know, dicks are vaginas dark, dark is now. Night, whatever the fuck. Fucking dudes ain't uh, gay. Let's see. Here we go. Fucking dudes was never no. gay. As long as they're your homies. Fucking dudes was never gay. They have to be homies. Exactly. Not, always keep gay. the socks on. Grip, you, you have you guys ever socks. been fucking your homie and you notice he starts to, you know, take his socks off? You know that one foot trick where like you start taking it off and you just yeah, kind of slap right there, stroke. right then and there. You just pull out and slap. I actually got a pair of like suspender, uh, chaplet thongs, and th that way I can suspend <laughs> the socks on to make sure they never have to fall. Nice, <laughs> what the nice. Fuck <laughs> what the fuck are We're you saying? We're gonna have fun um, next time you come down. Hell yeah. He's just spitting gobbly group at this point. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> hey Justin, what kind of goals you got for next year? <laughs> um, what was the, uh, buy a pair of those suspenders. That's number one. <laughs> that's, that, that's first. That's I'm the gonna first. Fuck, I'm gonna put a patent down. <laughs> that's the first thing we're doing. We're gonna grab a pair of those. I don't know. Probably just grow my other channels and work out more and get a shit ton of money. I don't have anything I specific. I do a next year. I didn't talk about. Like I want to make you fuckers. Goal. Because uh, all of those things are relative. Set an actual thing. Be like, I want to hit this many subs on this channel. I want to gain this much weight and muscle. Something like that. I want to get to 160 um, pounds. I want to get my manga channel monetized to make it money. And uh, I want to make money. I want to make a lot of money. So I can buy Let's land fucking do it, and make money. That's just, I just want to make money. That's my only goal. I just want to make a shit ton of money. So I, I want to have fuck you money. That's what I want. I want to have fuck you money so I can talk as much shit on Twitter as I want and just be like, <laughs> I could do what I want. I, I'm fuck you. I just want to do that. 
this video comes out i i'm probably on the 14th that's tuesday so we have until the 14th to fucking you know nut up or shut up <laughs> <laughs> so all right boys so, you know we got some goals let's make it happen man like, I, I, want have an goal. Goal I have another goal i have another goal next year i want to meet all you fuckers I don't care what right. I have to do. I want it to happen. The next year they fucking I don't care what I have to do what what crimes I must commit <laughs> against the Australian government to let me travel. He's joking Australian it. government. He's gonna ride Fuck a ghost you. ship all the way over. Yeah, I will become You can look for that ship that I'm gonna commit suicide mouth. on. You can borrow that. We can take that. But that means you're dead, so what's the point of going? You can find my ghost. <laughs> no, suicide pact. Suicide pact. <laughs> I'll leave two <laughs> shells in there. Rough. One for me, one for you. It you guys ever uh, just become such good bros that you just want to have a suicide pack so you can spend the rest of eternity together? The, uh, the, there's an organization in Switzerland that actually d just came out oh, I with saw this. the... Yeah, the, the suicide pods. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's dope as shit. Someone bought me that for Honestly. Christmas. <laughs> Buy you a video. I'll buy you a ticket for I paid it. people ten million dollars to try out this suicide pod. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beast video new. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. man yeah, we need an actual goal. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, we're not ending the podcast until we get one. Exactly. Uh. Okay. I don't care what it is. We won't make fun of you for it unless it's really retarded. Bigger penis. <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> Get a piece of art to put on that wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't count, bro. Come on. An actual, like, a life developing goal. I don't care what it fucking is. I won't make fun of you for it. As long as it's not completely illegal or retarded. 100%. I, whatever it is, I will support the ever living fuck out of you as long as it's not stupid. My goal today is to figure out a goal for. Uh, Shut uh, up! Oh, yes. God. Um, we're ending it to you. Get one. I swear to God. Stalling over here. <laughs> Literally, like anything. It, What's anything just one thing you want to get done next year? I'm giving this man an existential crisis over having one goal in I life know. right now. It could be getting some fucking random gun that you've always wanted. That's fucking a goal, bro. The walls are closed again. <laughs> Come on, we're not ending until you get one. Um. All right. Then I can't accomplish it this year or this coming year, but by ne by two years from now, I'd like to have my pilot certification. There you go. That's a good goal. That's a goal. I'm not That's picking you up from the well, airport, then here, though. Uh, then here is your fucking goal for next year: get the first step done. Yeah, get more hours put into it. Get something fucking done. Have proof that you are working towards this goal and it's not going to be something where next year if we have this fucking call again, you're going to say, well, in two years from now, I want to do this. No, I want to say, I started this and I should be done by next year. Yeah. That's what I want to fucking hear. All right, easy. Yeah. We got some goals, boys. Easy. We Everyone who actually fucking watches this shit to this point, you get to hold us accountable. Yeah. You must harass us in a year's time. Let us time. know your goals in the comments. Check that shit down there. Comments. Thousand fucking percent. Let us know your goals in the comments. Fuck it. Ping me on Rabbit's Discord about your goals. If you get to this point, I want you to fucking at Carson JF and just say, "Hey, this is my fucking goal." And send I want a picture of your titties. titties. Well, you can at both of us at the same time. We don't. Also, if no, you uh, everyone, you this is everyone's goal to become a Patreon. <laughs> That's, That's all your goals. <laughs> That's and all subscribe your goals. Thank you on Twitch. Twitch. Check out gamersubs.gg. Yes. There's actually a sale coming Slowly up, holiday it. sale. I don't remember when it is. Let me let me do this real quick. Hey, oh, make my sure you guys going. cash in on that. While you're uploading that up, didn't they release like they're working with another porn star or something like that? Yeah, they're at least they're always working with porn stars. Amaranth, not a porn star, but close enough. <laughs> What's the difference? Allegedly. Dude, dude no, Amaranth is fucking nah. Like she is business. Oh, it woman started goals now. Fuck. Oh, I mean, oh, it started now, the thirteenth. Okay, it starts today. Um, that tier... sounds on, boys. Oh, no. that link in the description one, and get some fresh shit. Holiday sale, tier one. Purchase over thirty dollars, you get a free waifu cup plus samples. Uh, purchase over fifty dollars, uh, waifu gaming sleeves plus tier one gifts. Uh, tier three, if you purchase over hundred dollars, you get a free shirt plus everything else. 
Uh, over 150, you get a free tub of unreleased strawberry and uh, everything else. So that's actually just a pretty good uh, fucking deal. If you just spend thirty dollars, you get a free cup. Let's fucking go, boys. Oh, is that a Christmas cup? Remember I hope, they send, crazy. I hope I they send that to me. That's fucking dope. Which one? The Christmas one they have. She's like dressed I in a Santa outfit. Have, have you not seen Amaranth's? I think you would honestly love it. Uh, I don't know. She's got bunny ears. Bitch. Yeah, she's got bunny ears <laughs> on. There we go. I, I'm showing everybody else on stream what it looks like. But yeah, uh, I'm there pretty sure I think that was my idea was for them to start using content creators. That was my idea. Because after I mentioned it to them, that's when they started doing it. I'm a little salty that I wasn't the first one, nor was I still not the one. A little salty about <laughs> that. But if they take my headband right, idea, we'll I better be the fucking model. I swear to God. If they take my headband idea and not put me on the fucking model, I'm going to be pissed. So Gary, what's up? So you're listening to, to this. That, right? Huh? You actually talk to them about the headband stuff? Like, yeah, talk to hey, through to the wind? Yeah, he said he'll, talk, he'll ask uh, some other people about it. And I was like, dope. I just want to be the model. I don't want any money. I just want to be the model. Mm -hmm. That's all I want. All right, let's go. So, so that that's Justin's goal for next year is to get his own gamer subs cup. Let's go. And make a shit lot of money. With you guys. And make so a shit ton of money. So fuck you, money. Serious fuck you, money. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. That's episode yeah, 17. Yeah, that's, that's that's a good place to call it, I think. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, links to the channel. Do you Patreons again? Or? No, nah, just the beginning. That's I got you. Patreon, right. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, any of the other stupid links we have down there below. I'll, I'll, I'll try to link these retards as well if I remember. Uh, that's all I got. Anti-titties.net. Anti-titties.net. <laughs> Go to the OnlyFans and uh, have a great day. Episode 17. Thanks, guys.